it's Joe with Jolie Farms in Ecuador. So we're inside our greenhouse today and we're declaring war on the pill bugs. So, you know, Ecuador has its challenges just like anywhere else. We, um, we have a problem with pill bugs here. The roly polies, um, they're a crustacean. Put a picture of them up here so you can see them. So um, you, one of the things that brings these guys in is when we compost and the compost is not fully finished. In other words, it didn't heat up enough, didn't cook the compost well. And my guys will bring that in and put it in here full of pill bugs. So when my green beans or any other crop comes up, they just cut them right off. Man, they just hack them down like a weed eater. And so I've been steadily killing them out in this greenhouse for about two weeks now. Well, how do you kill them? Well, there's no poison or spray or bacteria that's gonna make that work. But what I found is that we use beer traps. That's right, just like you would for a slug. I'm gonna show you those beer traps in a little bit. I'm gonna show you how we, um, we fill them up and get rid of pill bugs. So they're not completely gone in this greenhouse that we're in, but they're very close. So right now, I am going to go ahead and plant some of these guys and show you, uh, plant some green bean seeds, show you how we do it, coming right up. So right here, I've got my green bean seeds. I've been soaking them in water this morning. I like to soak them 30 minutes to an hour to kind of help soften up that outer shell that gives them a better chance at germination. So I'm um, gonna go ahead and start these. As you can see, I got two furrows here. I like my furrows deep and uh, I like the seeds close together. And the reason for that is so when their bean, green beans grow up, they kind of help support each other. They don't fall over. If you plant them real shallow, they're gonna fall over real easy and uproot themselves. Now you can do a string all the way down and kind of floor to weave them and help hold them up. And that's a lot of work. But um, so all we're going to do is just kind of pop these in about two to three inches apart here. And, uh, you know, if you get some too close together, it won't matter. Not all of them will germinate, but probably 90% of them will. And uh, that should uh, work real well. All right, now we've got our seeds in the ground. We can go ahead and cover them up. <clears throat> I don't pack them in or anything. Just make sure they're covered well. And then we'll have to uh, water them in really good before we put out our beer traps. Now I actually could wait a few days before I put out the beer traps. They're not gonna go after the seeds. They're only gonna go after the green new growth. They like those real young tender sprouts, as do most things in life. But I'm gonna go ahead and put traps out today. Now, as I said, we've been killing these pill bugs in here for about two weeks, but the babies, you know, are still coming on, the eggs. And so I'm seeing one or two in here. Just wanna make sure we get rid of all of them. One of the things I've done with other types of plants that are being planted a little further apart is I'll put collars around them, get a little plastic tub, cut out the bottom and push it into the dirt around the plant so that it keeps anything from crawling up on the plant. And that does help. It seems to work pretty well. The green beans are too close together to do that. Okay, now all we need to do is water. A couple of things I wanted to say, um, these little plastic cups are simply the bottoms of Coke bottles, plastic Coke bottles. And you take a, a knife and cut out just the little bottom part so the pill bug can easily crawl up inside there. And, uh, you know, it helps if you push it down in the dirt, but it doesn't have to be. They will crawl up the side and go in. So that's all these are and are easy to use, you know, maybe an inch deep. You can see my first knuckle. That's about perfect right there. You don't need to put much beer in, just maybe a quarter inch of beer in there. And that works well. 
I also want to tell you about my hoe. Um, this is my planting hoe. I like to use this a lot, grubbing hoe if you want to call it that. But um, this triangular hoe, I showed a guy in town a picture of it, and uh, he made this for me by hand, and uh, found a little kind of a short handle for a tall guy like me, but it works. Um, so these guys here in Ecuador, man, they hand make this stuff. You can go show them whatever you want, and uh, they make that happen. And he did a fine job on this one. All right, so I planted some green beans in here a few days ago in the other greenhouse, and I can see that they're starting to come up. There's some little ones right there. I did put beer in here and killed out most of the peel bugs, but I'm going to put some more, and I'm using this cheapest beer I can find, which is the Siembra. It's actually made from corn. The peel bugs seem to love it. Their preferred drink of choice. So all I got to do is just put a little bit in each cup, and... Uh, you know, it's good if you push these cups down in the soil a little ways, uh, make it easier for them to climb in. For some reason, they get in, drink the beer, and die, and they stay right there. Don't know why that is, but um, you'll come in here, and you will find millions of uh, little pill bugs all died inside these cups. You can see here, here's some green beans that didn't get eaten by the last round. So these little guys will get in there and come out here tomorrow morning. They like to come out at night, but uh, you'll come in in the morning and you'll find these guys all dead in here. It works like a champ. See you on the next one.